Hello and welcome. I had a request to uh, make a tutorial on how to make this actual picture here. Call it a Tron inspired picture. Okay. And let's start off and make the bricks. Actually, let me get this menu here so we can see the display. So I want to size this cube on the x axis by 2. In the modifiers, add a modifier, bevel, and from correct it was 0 0.06. That's what we were using. Okay. And the materials, excuse me. Okay. We want this to be a glossy finish, as glossy as possible. We're going to add another material. And let's call this uh, yellow glow. All right. Oh, we need to also uh, go back to the modifiers and apply the modifier. Go into edit mode. Hit A. Face select. I'm going to hold in shift and select all the faces that we want to have that glowing effect on. So let's click all of that all right it's been a long day at work and it's about oh it's 10:30 at night and I'm tired so insert witty comments right about now and we'll continue to highlight these okay Back to materials, yellow glow. Here under settings, let's also give it a viewport color, yellow. And let's click assign. There you go. You got your brick there. Let's see how it looks. Go into rendered view. Whoop. I gotta give it a color. Hey now, look, I'm just screwing things up. I'm sorry. Let's also go back and make that admission. There you go. Now we're talking. We got all corners. Okay. So, let's slide that up just a little bit. And let's add a uh, ground, ground surface. Shift A, add another cube. Let's slide that down. Okay, and I want to size that on the Y and X axis. So to do that, you can just hit S to size, hold and shift, tap Z, since that's the one axis that I don't want to size it on. And I'm going to size this by 40. And for material, let's give it simply another high glossy finish. I'm correct. And the finish render it was point five let's get an idea what that looks like and I also had the world set up to be significantly darker okay so let's back out of there and start making extra cubes or bricks one thing I forgot to mention also is let's uh, rescale the brick scale to do that, control A, hit scale. And a little trick here to see how you can move objects very precisely. Right here, you can see the dimensions. So if I'm right now I'm gonna duplicate my object, hit G to grab, and the Y uh, excuse me, the X axis only. If I type in let's say two, I'm only going halfway. Again. The dimension is 4 for x, so in G to grab x 4. So it's perfectly aligned. But we want a little space, so I'm going to hit Command Z to back that up. Grab x axis 4.1. Now we're talking. Okay. And if you're really good at math, well, we can do two of them. 8. Grab X 
too. It's a beautiful thing, folks. 4.1. And again, if you're going on the opposite direction, well, just hit the minus sign. Okay, so grab x minus 4.1. Minus 8.2. And let's probably do that twice more. Duplicate x minus 8.2. x 8.2. Okay. So now let's highlight all of these. I want to get actually get this light off. I don't want any other light source. That's not what we had. I'm going to box select that entire row. Shift D, Z axis, and since the Z is two, so we're going to hit two point one, and then grab on the X axis two. Let's see how this is looking. There we go. Okay. Now let's duplicate. We got the first row. Grab the second row. Shift D. Z axis 4.1. And let's repeat. Shift D on the X axis, excuse me, Z axis 4.1. And you guys get it. 4.1. Let's do one more. Z axis 4.1. Okay. So there's your bricks. Now, what we had also was the sphere. Same idea. Sphere. I'm going to rotate that on the y axis by 90. And we can give this the same exact material. Choosing material. Let me get this tab off. Exactly what we want. And we'll go into the edit mode and select the rows that we're going to add that glowing effect to. Box select. And right there. And right about there. Whoop. Okay. And let's add a material. The material is going to be the yellow glow. We're going to assign it. And then hit this little plus tab. So now we're going to change the color to red. Save a little bit of work. And change this viewport color to red. Now let's take a peek at what we got. Under shading, click smooth. There you go. I just want to size that by two. So, what I did is in the original picture. I just grab the blocks. Some, me, I just grab some of the bricks and I just move them out of the way. Okay, let me fix this point here. Active element. Right. There we go. That was getting annoying. So yeah, I just grab a couple of the bricks. Rotate Z axis a little bit. And if you want, you can go into game logic and, you know, get really funky and start changing things up. If you want. I did a test run on the tutorial doing it that way. You can do that. Um, it doesn't really come out the way I really wanted to. Especially with just the limited amount of bricks. You just move them wherever you want. Rotate. Z. Let me 
and get this menu out of the way. Rotate on the Z axis. Pull that out a little bit. Control Alt Zero to move my camera in. Grab a camera. There you go. It's actually it's, it's a quite simple process to add that glowing effect. I do have that in another tutorial. Um, I'll have the link posted here. Um, check it out. Learn how to use a compositor a little bit and uh, add that glowing effect. That can really spice up some uh, some scenes. Really easy scene to create that Tron effect. Uh, it's it's kind of cool. If you make something yourself, I'd love to see it. So. Hopefully you learned something. Again, it's a quick and easy tutorial. And uh, thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Take it easy. Keep blending.